Good morning. So yesterday uh, we finished writing our test add measurement server endpoint test. Um, so today we need to um, finish off the route, I think, on the front end. However, I think I made a little mistake yesterday with my commit to git. If I remember correctly, I forgot to commit the API changes. So while I added um, the test, add measurement. If I actually pushed this, which I didn't luckily, um, it would have been failing on the on the build server. So I need to commit this uh, before I push. Um, and I think I should probably um, just clean up that commit as well while I'm at it just to make sure it's correct. So I'll do a quick commit here. And while I'm at it, I'll just change that as well. Okay, everything else. Huh, actually, I also need to commit that. That. Don't need the front end stuff, but I will commit that because that's going to be used. So they will need to be committed as well, and I'll do the same. Okay. So that leaves just the front end stuff has not been committed yet, which is what I'm going to work on. Um, and I'll just fix that up. Uh, well, actually, how many have I done there? Uh, we've got one, two, three. So it's come here though. I need to change um I think is it that three yeah, well done why is that not doing what I expect? Oh, unchanged. Uh, okay, we'll stash that then. Well, that's easiest to do from here. I use a mix of uh, GUI and command line. These stash changes. Oh. Um, There we go. Right. So what we need
Let's take that. And that. Put them first. And then I'm going to merge them, I think. I'll fix that up, shall I? I think I'll just do fix ups. Okay. So that's the latest. And these two should be merged into it. And now I should. Shall I just quick look? So yeah, we've got the API test, API, all the gen stuff all in the same commit now. With the edit gulp stuff beforehand. And I think that should just have the edit goal, yeah. That's good, that's fine. And this should have the new stuff. A couple of minor changes there. It's fine. Cool. So I should be able to just push that. And I'll check on that in a bit. Um, and now I want to unstash my other stuff. I want to pop it because I don't need it anymore. Okay. Good. And if I do that's fine. Yeah, we're good there. I was just thinking actually I can um I could give that a quick quick run to make sure everything's okay. And deploy it. Okay, so we're fine there. If I go, and we get a form. That's cool, but it doesn't do anything yet because uh, we haven't hooked it up. So that's what we need to do today. Um, and then uh, I think I'll eventually come around and do like um, validation tests as well. But today I just want to make sure it actually does what it does. 
So what we're gonna do. Uh, let's clean up some of this. We have What did I change in here? Right, so that's the boot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we changed the boot there as well. I forgot about that, but that's fine. Um, so I think I'll keep that format. I think I like the idea of a measurement has always got to be related to a goal. If you're doing a straight ad. I think um, the whole idea of doing like a global ad measurement, um, that's obviously a completely different um, setup and that would be as part of the goals page or whatever. So that's fine as is. Um, if I want a, here's a bookmark, here's just the form for ad measurement for the time being until I do fix up the UI to be a little bit more user friendly. Um, we have um, we have a new route. Um, yeah. So we're grabbing the goal. And then we've basically got a cancel which just pops back to whatever we had beforehand um, and at the moment we're not really doing anything with the save we're just um, reverting and then popping back again like a cancel because we haven't actually handled the save because we didn't have a root um, so in here um, I started to implement the submit handler um, and I had dummy code in here but oh that's right okay that's what I was doing in here I'm basically resetting the goals so that when the pop it does a refresh and therefore I don't have to do a refresh of the data on the ad measurement So we basically get a new world order here. It's like, hey, everything's reordered. Um, everything's fresh and fetched as needed, uh, which we need. Okay. This style stuff. I might be going. Okay. So at the moment, this is doing nothing. Because we're never passing in a goal. Uh, we're always passing in a goal. So I'm in two minds as to whether I should even keep it in there. But I think... I think I will reuse it at some point. So no, I think I'll give it in there. It's not doing anything at the moment. And it worked, so okay. Uh, we have a measurement input um, which has changed slightly somehow. What did I change? Oh just to clean up there. Uh, that's fine. So on click of the cancel button, we're dispatching a cancelled. Otherwise, hit the submit handler, which in theory is going to save. And then we will dispatch. It's saved. Okay. 
All right, let's do this satchel stuff then. So we need go on to service. Uh, where am I doing that again? I think I said just in there, isn't it? Yeah. Add measurement. Now we're passing in a goal ID. My goal ID. We have a token string. Don't have an ID verb, but we do have a value. Just going for the measurement. Hmm, maybe I should play that safe and also make that a measurement so I know. It's not been set dynamically though, is it? It is there. So I guess that's alright. Otherwise, it's passed in or set on initialization, which is good. I think we're good there. Uh, so we all have a date taken. And some notes. That's us. So if it comes back with saved, then we dispatch saved and we're done and dusted. If we have an authentication error, then we're going to create a message. which we're not yet do handling, but hey, we'll get there eventually. Um, with an error. Um, and if it all really goes nuts and we don't even get an authentication error, 
then we should in theory have had um like an error message already displayed i think but oh yeah yeah that's that yeah we just didn't understand whatever happened there that's fine i don't think we'll ever get to this it's kind of like a catch so yeah Passing a goal, set up a measurement struct. Potentially show a goal picker. Input the measurement fields, bind into the measurement. Potentially cancel, potentially submit handler. Try to instantiate the goal monitor service, call the add measurement endpoint with the data we need. Hopefully get a good response. That should be it. Okay. Let's give it a go. All right, refresh. I'll just pop open the uh, console. I'll watch the network. So let's say I wobble, I wobbled 10 times today. Um, lots of wobbling. There we go. Cool. So we posted. Posted good data. We got a good response. The measurement ID. That's great. And then we reset, which meant Yeah, what's the end point on that? Yeah, get goals. Got all the data. And then because we went into the wobble goal, we got its measurements. That's great. Um, and this should sort. That's good. I can do that. Uh, even notes, but doesn't really make a lot of sense that. But whatever. Cool. So can I add another one? Let's just see. Um, let's say uh, yesterday I only wobbled five times. Uh, we won't put a note in. There it is. Good. That's great. That's really good. Um, so Let's just commit that off because uh, that's the basics of the add measurement working. Why have I got console errors there? Oh, what's that from? Ah, before I commit, let's see what's going on there. Let's 
do a quick refresh. Try another one. So let's do day before that. I'll leave that open. Ha, huh, okay. Add measurement sixty nine. Okay, I need to investigate that. It was a component, wasn't it? Yeah. Coming from the root on 32. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Let's go to that one and come here. So what's in the root? Nothing. Doing that, it's doing that. Is the reset forcing a problem there? No. Hmm, okay. The goal is no. That might be the problem. Oh, I bet that's the problem actually. I, I don't even need to debug that. It's about to, but I thought no. Because in here, yeah, yeah, okay. So, whatever happens, yes, yeah, so what, what's happening at the moment is I'm passing in the goal. Um, but it's null. And so this is coming in and saying, well, I've got something. And then it's trying to get the goal ID.
if it's not getting it on time. But it might. No, it should. Hmm, I think I need to have a quick look at that. Why would it complain? Oh. No, it's okay, because it should. Do I need to deconstruct that? I'm going to try a little something. I think I might be doing something unintentional there. I might be passing back. Do I want that though? I might want bound version. OK. 
give it a, oh, a quick play with that. I want to see what that does, because... That would be problematic for Eddie Gold, though. Or not, actually. It might be quite good to have a copy instead of being on the actual goals record as such. Okay. Gonna try that. Nope, same problem. It wasn't that. Hmm. All right. That doesn't make Something's not defined somewhere. Definitely getting that okay because... Seeing the gold prime come in. That property's been set. Add measurement. I wonder if it's just because it's not initialized. But it should be fine because it's not even been instantiated until ready. So this is going to complain because it might not exist. It's kind of about some braces though.
Although, hold on a minute, it's trying to do it. And save. It's basically a submit, isn't it? <laughs> I bet this is it, right? Because the on click passes in. Passes in the event. <laughs> But he just doesn't like it. Although I don't get that elsewhere. So maybe it's not. I really don't have to go in the debugger. It's a pain in the butt. Thank you. 
Okay. Mm, I'm confused as to why we get those errors because we didn't get it. Did we get it on edit goal? No. Okay, so what is the difference there then? Because that's annoying. Oh, it's a different form setup. Oh. Right, okay. So at the moment in edit goal we're catching the submit handler on the form component which does the um, dispatch of submit. Okay, that's fine. And then that does the thing. And what I've got at the moment is two things trying to f fire at the same time. In my ad measurement. So this is doing. <laughs> so this is not. So this is doing a click. Um, and then it's. Uh, not being, uh, we're not using prevent default, default on it. So the submit handler is doing its thing. Um, and then the form is then trying to dispatch a submit, uh, which might bubble up. But anyway, it's doing weird things because of that. Um, so I need to decide what to do there. I can either, I've got three, <laughs> three things I can do. I can revert to using the form component. Um, which I might not do. Because the whole point was maybe having a little bit more control over the form. Layout. Grid. Or I can set the form to just call the submit handler without using the dispatch, which would be fine. And therefore take out the on click on the button and just let it do its natural thing there. Or we'll make the form do nothing and let the button do the submit. I think.
Well, it's a bit strange actually that. But this isn't doing its submit as well. Oh yeah, primary does submit. That's fine. Forgot. It's good. Okay. So primary does submit type. So I don't need an on-click handler here. That's the problem. We're doing double submit. So on here, we just need to do the same. Submit handler. Because we're not using dispatch anymore. This dispatch is purely going to be up top now. Uh, where's the button? Yeah, I'm not doing anything there. Because we have a submit handler, we're good. We don't need to do a preventive vault. It wouldn't harm, but... Clean on the bed, I guess. We'll see. Submit handler does its thing, does a dispatch. Cancel just does a dispatch and won't go any further because we already have a submit handler. Submit type rather. Okay, so it was nothing to do with the undefined types other than it was doing a double and not having any data coming in. That's fine, I think. Uh, we will soon find out. The deployed already. There it is, done its data, we're good. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. All the data. Okay. Need to get a button. Definitely wibbled today. That was about 10 times. Okay. Good. Mystery solved. Yay. Right. Okay. So we're we looking good. We've got. Nothing unused there. We've got our messages being used. Um, why is that complaining? Yeah, whatever. I could do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. No complaints now. Okay. So we're... Uh, got a nice green icon. No problems. Excellent. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. 
Right, let's commit that. All right, now let's go see if that previous build passed. It did. Good. What's the build in there? Create all the data. Is the uh... That's the go, that's the server test done there. Front end tests. And test the charm, which basically does nothing. Six minutes, a bit longer than I would expect. Cool. All right. Well, I'll just let that do its thing. Um, and that's enough for today, I think. Um, so we've got we've got a secret way of um, added measurements. Um, But we are still not actually doing anything really good with them yet. We haven't got any graphs and things yet. But we do need to um, improve the UI considerably um, to add like a, a button and stuff like that. But uh, I need to get on. I've got stuff to do today. So um, until next time, take care.